Okay guys, so some of this stuff at Walmart, I don't know if it was a manager special or what, I'm gonna show it to you. If you wanna look up the UPCs on Brickseek, go for it. A lot of it was up to 95% off, which is wild. So we're gonna go through it, and then I have a little story time for you at the very end where a shopper went totally crazy um, in the aisles, um, and we'll talk about that. This woman totally freaked out. Not so much at me, just another person, and she started screaming. It was really like, wow. People are stressed. Um, the weather report for you, it is a rainy, gloomy one out there. Hi to my mom if she's watching. And we only have Daisy here in the chow line eating today. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through some of this stuff and I'm gonna show you the UPC after everything is, sh um, you know, after I show you every item. So this little kid's chair, um, I am gonna let one of my cats have it. Uh, it was $10, the original price point is $39.98. Um, I have it, one of my cats, Suzu, who likes to sit under my desk whenever I'm working, so I thought this would be like nice and cozy for her. And I think she already knows it's for her because she already jumped on it. Super, super cute little um, bag charms. Um, they're supposed to be for like a backpack, but I thought I could throw them in with a Christmas stocking for one of my nieces. So, so adorable. This is probably my absolute and favorite find spark create imagine uh this is a walmart brand and it's a 43 piece set dual you can use chalk or like little markers it looks really snazzy like there's a lot going on here the original price point was 1888 it's down to a dollar so i mean if you can find these every niece and friend of the family is getting one of these for christmas it's a little easel and i think they're so stinking cute and there was a ton on clearance so I was I only grabbed what I needed I didn't go too overboard by that same company these little crayons were 25 cents and I got a couple of them you know how at the Dollar General a couple weeks back I got those adult coloring kits so I thought these um, pencils and even though it's for kids adults can use them too it's just like a regular little uh, crayon or hold on, coloring pencil like, you know, it's a good size. So I thought, you know, um, I could put those with those um, adult coloring kits and maybe give them away as part of a Christmas gift or something nice like that. So delighted with all of that. I think it was like three bucks for 12 of them. Also a really superb find, which is these Chalk Alives. I was only able to grab a couple of them. Most people that were walking by the display, one lady had a cart filled. Um, so what was left over, I just got a couple. So I got two of the Ryan's World and one of the Hello Kitty. I wish I got a couple Hello Kitties because one of my nieces really likes Hello Kitty. And I thought, you know, she could, you know, for an Easter basket, that would be really cute, but not the case. But still really happy with what I got. the sort of stuff you hang on till summertime, springtime, you know, because um, they really can't use it right now. But here it is, very happy about that. And then the last thing, this is for me. I use these a lot for little coupon matchups. I just write my notes in it um, and I go through these. These were 10 cents each, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal price. They're usually like a quarter each. So I got 25 of them. I got a whole um, display of them. And there was a ton of those too. So I was really happy with that. Okay, hey, time for a really quick story time and this was a weird one so I wanted to share it with you guys. Throw it in your back pocket if you're ever in a similar situation. Um, so they had all this clearance stuff situated in the clearance aisle on an end cap. So it was really crowded. There was a lot of people looking through stuff because the pricing was like up to 95% off or 90% off. It was really like, especially if you have like kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, you know, Christmas is around the corner. A lot of people were buying a lot of stuff and the employee just kept showing up with stuff and just, it was really, really low pricing. Some of this stuff was actually on a shelf. Some of it was in a cart and some of it was on one of those little trolleys with four wheels so it was all over the place uh there was a lady who was on the phone probably in her 60s um and she was on the phone on her cell phone and she had a cart full of stuff near her 
but she just kept looking in this cart and I don't know if she was putting stuff under her armpit that she was going to like put it back what she was doing with it with the thing under her armpit was that her only item what was this cart was it her cart was it the store's cart nobody knew so myself and another lady, we were trying to get this woman's attention and both of us were wearing masks. So we really can't raise our voices. It's subdued because of the mask. So we were trying to wave to her, but she's so engrossed in her phone call. She probably had because everything was between like 10 cents to a dollar. So it wasn't really expensive except for that one chair I bought, but she wasn't buying one of those. And um, she was talking to this person. She probably had 11 bucks of stuff in her cart, but she had like, I think 10 of those chalk lives. So I wanted one more Hello Kitty one. And I think the other lady wanted a Ryan's World one. I actually had three Ryan's World, but I gave one to the other shopper. So um, this lady wouldn't acknowledge myself and the other shopper. And she's so engrossed to give her shopping list of everything she's looking at. She keeps touching it and touching it and touching it. And I'm thinking, is that her cart or is that not her cart? She has no purse there. You know, she has nothing in there like a steak that you think that she was grabbing her groceries with it or some cans or something, you know, it's just a cart with stuff. So it looks like perhaps the store left it there. We don't know. So, um, long, long, long story short, um, she starts to walk away from that cart. So the other lady and I kind of look at each other and the other lady puts her hand in to grab one of those Ryan World Chalk Lives. And then this other lady, um, on the cell phone, cell phone lady turns around and she's like, that is my stuff. Get away from it. It's for my grandson. The other lady put her hands up. She's like, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't think this was your cart. You know, usually people put a purse or something. And then she was angry. And I just looked at the other lady. I gave her one of my Ryan's worlds. I'm like, mm, I'm getting out of here because it's it's really great stuff. And it's like that price is right adrenaline dopamine moment when stuff just keeps showing up and it's like cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Heck, I could have been there all afternoon, but I didn't want to deal with that. And if she can't get off the phone to deal with another customer waving in her face for five minutes saying, is this your stuff? Because she's so engrossed in this phone call. It's just bizarre. So I didn't want any more of this. And just more people just kept showing up to look through this clearance stuff because it was hot clearance, like sizzling, sizzling hot, you know, better than Black Friday. That is for sure. So long story short, guys, um, I have quite a bit of stuff. Like I probably had $20 of clearance merchandise, maybe 15, um, plus my family groceries. And then I got a couple little Ibotta things and nothing too crazy. And um, I was paying for stuff and I was leaving the front of the store to go to my car. And then I hear somebody in the clearance section, which is further away from the front door, scream at the top of her lungs, stay away from my cart and my stuff. Stay away from all of this. This is my stuff. Punctuated with a bunch of profanity as well. I'm not going to share that with you. And I turn around and it's the same lady still on the cell phone. And I'm like, if you're going to do some serious clearance shopping, get off the phone. Like, because, you know, people thought your cart was just for anyone to take or just go and pay for it and then come back and fill up a second cart, which I've done before in the past when I've done this sort of shopping. But she was so irritated with everybody. It was the worst energy. It was, I know it's frustrating for her too, but get off your phone and just realize there's other people like doing the same thing like you. You're not alone in the store and like, goodness gracious, like calm down. You know, if you say that's yours, people will not just grab it and run away. Like it was just weird. Um, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Was that other lady totally off base? Um, I think this woman screaming so loudly that you could hear a pin drop in the middle of the store. She was totally out of line. And it's one of these things that when you scream like that and swear at somebody like that in public, like I feel embarrassed for the person getting yelled at. Like I feel bad for them. And it was just really uncomfortable. So I could not get out of that store fast enough, but it was quite bizarre. I've never experienced this ever, even with my Black Friday shopping or anything like that. It was bizarre. I'll catch you guys in the next one.